Hello, everyone, and welcome to the first episode of Bardic Inspiration's Campaign Stew. I'm Matthew, and this series will use the power of artificial intelligence to help us all engage with new and creative ideas to generate plot points for your next Dungeons & Dragons or any other RPG campaigns. With the help of our friend Chronicle, brought here from the forges of creation themselves, we bring you generated plot points to draw inspiration from as we reshape and mold them into usable plot hooks for your games at home. So everyone, say hello to Chronicle and let's get started. Hello, I am Chronicle, your guide to a fountain of unlimited knowledge. Within my data storage lies countless stories of heroism, betrayal, and mystery. Allow us to begin. Thank you, Chronicle. I just received our first story for today. Remember, we'll be trying to create a campaign hook that you could use for your group of nerds at home. So listen carefully to these excerpts that Chronicle has given us and think of how differently you could run a campaign or write a story based on these ideas. Let's begin. The world is suddenly fueled by magic. People gain new powers overnight. Farmers, merchants, and everyday folk are casting powerful and ancient spells with the slightest effort, and the source of this newfound wellspring of magic is currently unknown. The priests don't know what's happening, but they do have a name for it, the gift. Yasmina, a young girl from a small village in the southern dukedom of Illistol, finds herself thrust into this strange and dangerous world when she discovers that her gift the ability to control water with her thoughts is far more powerful than anyone believed. She decides to use this power to help others and eventually becomes known as the Water Mistress, a figurehead who serves as both the savior and the harbinger of this new age. But there are those who would take advantage of these dark times. With the gifts becoming common knowledge, the church begins to enforce its beliefs through force rather than persuasion and people have begun to disappear. Yasmina vows to protect them at all costs, even if it means going up against the church itself. To do so, she must solve one of the oldest mysteries of her time, an enigma that has plagued the peoples of Kryn for hundreds of years. Incredible, seeded into this thread is mystery, action, and heroic fantasy. All you'd need to do is shape this idea to your fantasy setting. Is this a recent occurrence? Is this how magic was introduced to the world? Why did the priests turn against those presented with these gifts? What are the implications for those who received them? Are they hunted, on the run, forced to hide their powers? Can they even control them well enough to stay hidden? More specifically, who is Yasmina? Is this a player character or an NPC? If she's the character of one of your players, you need to find ways to make the other characters feel just as important and not just side characters in Yasmina's quest. There are so many ways that you can delve deeper into this, especially with the oldest mysteries of her time. What could that be? Chronicle, do you have any ideas on how to expand this? Certainly, allow me to check my data logs and administer a compelling sample. Computing for ancient mysteries surrounding sudden magical emergencies. Wow, that was fast. Let's see what we have here. He calls it the Book of Time, the Church of Light's History of Kren. A little flashy chronicle, but I'll allow it. In all of history, there is nothing so mysterious as time. Time has always been a necessary evil. It permits us to move forward and experience life. It also allows us to die with our memories intact. But what if time could be bent? What would happen then? Would we cease to exist or would our very existence change forever? This was the question that Dr. Talon Card asked himself when he found out about the hidden chamber deep within his own museum. Time can be shaped, he said to himself quietly. I will find a way to bend it. And from that moment on, he began searching through every piece of evidence he had in search of a solution. He gathered together the items he thought might help him find the answer. A golden mask, the skull of a dragon, and an ancient book whose cover was studded in symbols that made no sense to him. Talon Card sat alone at the table in the middle of his cavernous office. 
He wasn't looking out into space. Instead, he stared down at that ancient tome in front of him. The symbol-covered cover seemed almost alive under the light of the soft blue-colored lamps hanging down from the ceiling. What could this book possibly hold? Why did I choose it? He wondered. He had no answers. The only thing he knew for certain was that the book held secrets. He reached out and ran his hand across the leathery surface of the cover. His fingers traced the strange markings. Somehow they were familiar to him, even though he'd never seen them before. He felt like he should know what they meant. As he continued to read, the words began to make more and more sense. There was power here, but it wasn't his own. It was something else, something long lost, something forgotten, and he had to remember. Card leaned back in his chair and closed the book gently. For a moment, he just stared up at the glowing lamps hanging overhead. Then he stood slowly and walked over to the far wall and unconsciously pressed a button on the wall, revealing a new yet somehow familiar door. He stepped inside and looked around nervously. A few moments later, the door slid shut behind him. Card was not a man who feared much, but there was one thing that terrified him beyond belief, the unknown. The room was dark, almost pitch black. At first, Card couldn't see anything, but after standing still for several minutes, a pale violet glow appeared around his hands. A moment later, a small crackling ball of energy formed between his palms. Card stared at the tiny orb of light intently. Slowly, it began to grow until it became larger than his head. Then, with a sudden rush, the ball of energy erupted violently. So, an interesting plot that might help flesh out why this magical eruption occurred, but it doesn't offer up a solution on that ancient mystery from before. Maybe we can run it through again and find something new, but there is plenty to work with from Chronicle's musings. Dr. Talon Card seems like an NPC to me, but he has a clear objective. He's attempting to alter time. Did he achieve his goal? Did this energy erupt with the power to rewrite history? Why was he seeking an alternate timeline? Or maybe he failed at his goal. Did this eruption cause something entirely different? It also seems like whatever book he's studying has altered his mind. Maybe a mystical entity has attached itself to him and given him the ability to achieve his goal, like a puppet master and Dr. Card is their marionette. Is this a good entity or a more nefarious one? Each has their own implications that you can build upon. If you set the scene in the distant past, you could use that as our ancient mystery, but I think I would tie this event to the sudden emergence of magic in Krent. Whatever effect that magical blast made, it started this whole story. You can certainly dive even deeper from Chronicle's tale. Speaking of which, why don't we try another round at that ancient mystery? One that could tie into what Dr. Card was trying to accomplish. Right away, sir. Though I believe you may be too simple-minded to see the connection. Wow, okay, a little hurtful, but you are a virtual supercomputer, so I'll let it slide this time. Let's see what our final entry for today looks like. That was the problem with mysteries. You didn't know how they ended until after the fact. The city was burning. It was night. The streets were filled with screams and cries of pain as people fled for their lives. Farther off, the sounds of battle echoed through the city. The fires burned high in the sky. Buildings collapsed. Smoke obscured everything. The city of Drakewall was doomed. There was only one hope left, and that was to run. Suddenly the ground shook. Dust fell from the sky. Dark clouds billowed across the moonlit landscape. Lightning flashed, illuminating the scene briefly before thunder crashed loudly in the distance. In the center of the cloud, a massive dragon descended upon the city. Its wings spread wide, and it roared angrily. It opened its mouth and breathed fire, incinerating buildings and sending dark smoke rising into the air. Lights danced across the dragon's body. Fireballs burst from its jaws, and yet more lightning crackled from its eyes. 
There was only one hope for the future of Krim. Only one force could stop the dragon, and that was the one who had brought it here. But why had they brought it here? To bring destruction? Chaos? The answer came quickly enough as the dragon lumbered closer to the city. The people fled in terror. They ran into the darkness, and they never saw the dragon coming. Then the dragon arrived at its destination. A temple stood there, a large structure of stone. It rose high above the surrounding buildings. Its walls glittered brightly, and it shone brilliantly in the light of the setting sun. Atop the building was a statue of an angel. Coming to life, she looked down onto the world below her. Kryn, she cried softly, it is your destiny. The rest will be up to the gods. The dragon turned in the direction of the voice. The angel stood atop the temple as if waiting for something. Her arms were outstretched, her face still. There was nothing left to do but wait. The dragon drew nearer. Slowly, it neared the temple. Its wings shuddered slightly, and then it halted. It slowly lowered itself onto the ground, its claws digging deep into the earth. Its head pivoted around, surveying the area. Is that you? asked the dragon, its voice echoing in the empty space. The angel did not respond. Instead, she walked forward, moving toward the dragon. As she approached, she stopped. She smiled. The dragon snarled. Where is the power? Where is the magic of the old days? Well, it certainly wouldn't be fantasy if the whole thing didn't revolve around a dragon, would it? In this third piece, we still don't get a clear answer on what that ancient mystery is. However, I think that this visual can be taken in a few different directions. After all, if it weren't a little ambiguous, there would be no mystery at all. We know now that in the past, a cult unleashed an incredibly powerful dragon into Krim, destroying the city of Drakewald. An angel protected the temple of Drakewald, but there seemed to be a deeper connection between the beast and the protector. Did the church cause this cult to be born? Maybe they stole that ancient magic for themselves, and our friend Dr. Talon Card was the whistleblower in this ancient shroud, attempting to expose the church for crimes they had committed. That could explain why the church became more violent when magic was reintroduced to Krim. But maybe you might have some different ideas. However, let's build that plot hook for your personal use. The themes of mystery and uncovering secrets made by a powerful organization are a great place to start. Your players could all have a stake in the sudden arrival of gifts to either themselves or the ones that they love. I'm gonna make the executive decision to have Yasmina be an NPC that enlists the help of your players. So here's what we've come up with. Ancient magics have awoken, birthing sorcerers from common folk, giving those who previously had nothing the power to do something. The temples have deemed this power to be brought from the seven hells, enforcing these views through violent and public acts. A resistance rises from those who ask questions, led by one of these gifted, Yasmina, the water mistress, in search of aid from any brave soul willing to risk everything to uncover the answer to these powers, knows that the first step lies in the ruins of Drakewald. From today's tales, what plot threads could you come up with? What did I miss? Was there anything today that gave you a bard's inspiration? Share your ideas down below, and make sure you never miss another video. Remember, tools like Chronicle are a great resource for overcoming writer's block, but they aren't here to do all the work for you. Stories are meant to be told by us, the bards. Maybe this exercise helped turn some wheels inside your mind. Maybe you could take part of today's lesson and use it for your adventures. Maybe there are more mysteries to be uncovered, but I leave those for you to decide. After all, it's not my story to tell. Safe travels, friend.